Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about KNF Concepts Carbon Fiber Travel Tripod. Now they did send me this product for review, but they wanted me to show you what it is and how it works. So let's take a closer look at this carbon fiber tripod. First thing you're gonna get is um, a nice travel bag. So this is a very small, compact. Yeah, this this thing actually fits in this bag. Uh, I will show you how to do it because you kind of have to convert it over to a smaller little package to go in here, but it works. It's simple, easy to do. So you're gonna get this. It does have a hand strap and it does have a shoulder strap to it if you need to, but nice and easy for packing and taking off on the go. Now you're also gonna get some instructions and a couple little Allen wrench screws because there's some Allen heads on this thing that you can actually tighten up if you need to. Uh, so it does come with that as well. Very nice. Now, let's go ahead and look at the tripod itself. First thing I want to do is put this into travel mode for you. Um, right now it's kind of in tripod mode, not travel mode. So what we're going to do is actually loosen this um, little, little uh, collar up. We're going to pull this all the way up and tighten it. And we're going to take these uh, legs. It's just a little uh, thumb release latch. Very simple and easy. And fold it up. So we're going to do that for all of them. Like that, that, and that. Now, that makes it the smallest possible uh, compact way um, of this. I will go ahead and put the measurements of this uh, folded for you so you can see what that is. Um, and that's even with the ball head on it. Uh, ball head is on it, the tripod, the legs, everything folded up nice and compact. And that's what it looks like. So that's great for traveling, but not good for putting a camera on. So let's take it back to tripod mode. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take it, the legs, and pull them all the way up. Now these little legs have little latches in them, so it's only gonna go up, and then you can lock into place just like that. Pull that up, lock it into place, and now you are in tripod mode. Now you don't want that collar up that high. You can, uh, the center pole, you can pull that down and lock it into place. But what's also cool is, as you saw how tall it went that direction, is you also have another one here. So you can open that one up and open this one up. It's so tall you can't even see it on my camera. Uh, I'm gonna bring them back down just to keep my demonstration so you can see it all the way down there to there. Now on the legs, there are different adjustments for the legs. Um, as I said, you get this little release button. Um, that This is the kind of the base kind of starting point. If you um, release it and go up, you can see this comes out at an angle this way. If you do it again, it will go out that way. So you can get this thing pretty flat. Um, now, it's, it can't go too flat with the center column all the way down, so you need to raise this up um, to make sure that you can get the, the tripod part all the way down to the ground. Okay, I had the tripod down as far as it can go so you can see it. Uh, and then with the center column, this is the um, height of the tripod. Um, it's basically the center column is, is, is how low you can go there. Uh, now there is a way to actually take this and mount the center column upside down. You actually have to take off this little uh, hook, which this is another feature. It's a little hook with a spring loaded on it. And so if you need to weigh down your tripod a little bit, you can put your backpack or a bag or something like that um, on this to actually help weigh it down, which is really nice. But it just unscrews. So now you can take, take that part off. There's a little washer, so you gotta make sure you don't lose those little washers because that keeps everything from falling apart pretty much. And then we're gonna loosen the center column. We're gonna take it out. Now, if you wanted to get a lower perspective, put your camera in upside down. Like that. Now you can mount your camera upside down, uh, very low to the ground. You can basically have this upside down on the ground almost completely. Uh, pretty nice little feature. So now that I have the column out, there's something else you could do with this. Um, this makes a monopod. So you have your nice little tripod situation going on. But if you don't want to carry the whole tripod with you and all you need is a monopod, this little section here, one of the legs, actually the leg with the little foam uh, rubber cap on it, we just unscrew that and that will screw into your center column. 
like that tightens all down nice and good and neat and now you have a monopod um and so remember you got the center column and then you have this other center column so you have two center columns to there and now you have your feet and i haven't even gotten to the feet yet but you've got there's three sections one two three just little latches there and these pull out now the base bottom here are little rubber there's a little rubber feet you can unscrew and take them off if you need to um but nice little rubber feet if you open up these you've got three sections um I'm, i know i'm going way off camera now because it won't see that far but I'm gonna give you an idea. I'm putting it down. Okay, I had to adjust my camera so you can see me standing up now. And um, I'm uh, five eight-ish or so, and you can see this thing goes almost up to up to the top of my head. Uh, I, if my camera was on there, I couldn't probably even see the 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 the, the focusing that the viewfinder thing. Um, so very nice. Again, you can lower this down, and you have a nice monopod carbon fiber monopod a lot smaller a lot lighter if you need to carry it around and you don't need a full tripod okay i wanted to come in a little bit closer for you uh to show you on these little latches here um these are plastic they're not metal or anything uh the 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 ends are replaceable you can unscrew them and uh they're rubber which is cool again this is a carbon fiber here you have your nice little pad for your monopod and then this uh, this is a uh, like an anodized aluminum here which latches into this piece which is also so that's a good nice secure again we're going to press it and pull it up it's going to stop press it again pull it up and it stops into place we're pulling it down it just clicks right in which is really nice and then these are the uh, the little screws that you can use to tighten up if you need to uh, anodized collar here all the way up to the ball head so i'm going to show you the a little bit more detail here of the ball head you do have a panning as you can see this little button here makes it so you can pan and there's a little bit of resistance it's kind of like a fluid head which is really nice to have and you can lock it into place and then this here activates the ball joint so if you loosen that up as you can see it does all kinds of stuff you can go all the different directions and there's a little cutout here so now you can go this direction to get nice vertical shots um, and that's really the only way it can go um, that direction there um, and then this is your Arca Swiss type plate very universal you can just open this up and pull out the plate this is what goes on to your camera and it's nice it comes with a d-ring which is super nice i wish they all did so you don't need tools to put this on very nice but there's also a little hex um, there if you use your little hex tool or a slot if you have a coin or screwdriver or something like that to mount that on your camera which is really nice again there's some indicators here there is a bubble level also so a level right there uh, you can get this everything leveled out and then slap your uh, camera right on in tighten that up and you're good to go so very simple very basic um uh, probably similar to many others that you have seen but it looks like it's really nice now this part is metal uh, here on the ball head uh, there are some plastic pieces but the, the the big main parts are metal it looks like uh, so that's really nice as well and then there's a little o washers the o rings throughout this whole thing just to keep it uh, water resistant and uh, keep the the things from smashing into each other <laughs> keep it dampened uh, but pretty nice okay i wanted to show you this is the tripod the tripod is set up with the all the legs extended all the way out the center column all the way up to give you an idea i'm gonna stand up straight again i'm about five eight or so and you can see it comes up to my nose or my eyes which would be a good good height it's actually even taller way taller than what i would like to actually use a camera at but this way you get an idea of the height i will put the measurements again here on screen of the maximum heights the minimum heights things like that um, of it um, as well but um, pretty nice and very versatile okay one thing i wanted to test too is the um, on the legs i mean they're pretty sturdy it's pretty good and even though these are just um, little plastic um uh locks on it um if i take the feet and push in it's on there pretty tight i'm actually i'm really giving it a shove um i've had a few of these where even if it's locked you can kind of push it in there uh, i had some heavy gear on uh, one of them before and it just started to kind of collapse on itself um so these locks are uh, pretty good again they're adjustable if if it's um 
if they come loose, you can just uh, tighten them down a little bit um, as well. So it's very simple and easy to use and operate. So there you have it, a quick and detailed look at the Kane F Concepts carbon fiber travel tripod. Uh, very nice. Um, if you are just getting started in camera video photography and you want kind of a lightweight travel for, uh, tripod that's more budget friendly, I think these are really good. Now there's, there's of course a lot less expensive tripods that are plastic and whatnot and I've used those and they're not very good. Uh, bare minimum I would use something like this um, and again it's a bit easier on the budget than some of those very very expensive ones. So um, very very nice if you are looking for a nice carbon fiber travel tripod this one may be the right one for you.